Vraska walking ballista combo nonsense with a hand we cannot keep. So the point of this deck here is to go Vraska. Let's um let's bottom this need lands. To go Vraska, Walking Ballista, Basilisk Collar, and win the game from there. Okay, so we're going up against a bunch of board wipes here. Um, we don't really care about Ghostly Prison because we have a combo to win through it. Um, Path to Exile is a little, a little worse for us, so I think we'll just be taking that. So next turn I want to drop Glissa, so I do want to Thought Seize now, instead of hold it for later. Just take a Wrath. There really wasn't anything good for me to take. I really don't care about Ghostly Prison here. Green, green, black. So we're going to use Karn, some Ancient Stirrings, and different other cards to get the combo and try to win from the combo here. Yeah, I, I think I think Gliss is really strong here. Okay, so that was Plains into Ghostly Prison. Sure. I've been wanting to play a Gliss of the Trader deck for a while, and I'm really glad that I have this one. I wouldn't mind if my opponent Wrathed right here, because my goal is to play Karn next turn. Okay, let's Karn. Okay, Walking Ballista is one of the pieces I'm interested in. Um, it's also pretty good right now facing down all these Squadron Hawks. Basilisk Collar is also really good. Um, Ensnaring Bridge can help us put a lock down. I don't mind Ensnaring Bridge at the moment, actually, because next turn if we draw land, we can play land, push, bridge, and lock our opponent out of the game. I think I'm really intrigued with the bridge, to be honest. If I, as long as I don't draw like a Vraska, I think bridge is a right answer. Yeah. And then we can buy ourselves a bunch of time. Best possible draw here is a land. Squadron Hawks are going to be attacking Karn. Knock him down to one, which means I can't wish again for a little bit. Put 
opponent is not interested in that wrath of God. Okay. That was the worst possible draw we could have had. Um, the worst possible draw we could have had. All right. Um, I guess I can play bridge, animate it to help defend against Karn, but then if they end up board wiping, that could be really painful. What's the lowest? I can get down to one card in hand, which means the Squadron Hawks can still kill Karn. But then I could push one of them. Yeah, alright. Um, so I'm going to play Bridge. I don't think I push... I don't think I, I pump up the Bridge here, because I don't want it to die to Wrath of God. And I'm going to fatal push the Squadron Hawk and just try to keep Karn alive for a little bit longer. Karn knocks out their... Interesting to note, they, Thraven, they just got two Thraven Inspectors to generate some clues. Karn makes it so their clues can't be cracked. Yeah, yeah next turn I should be Hellbent unless I draw another Vraska or another Karn. Okay, so Karn falls to one. Unless they Valorous Stance. Okay. So probably should have done that when they were tapped out. Either way, I don't know if they have an answer to... to Bridge. So I might just be able to buy myself plenty of time here. So I can draw into another card and then lattice them, or just go for the actual combo, which I'm still two cards off of. Karn would be a great draw right now. Before combat, I have to use his trophy. What are they targeting? Perfect. They gave me a reason to use trophy. blow up this misfilled pain planes which can actually keep them from milling out and I will pass the turn back to myself here so bridge has been fantastic this match I think I'd be dead without it And you know if Brendan's playing this particular list this week at FNM. Let's blow up the resto. <laughs> okay, just keep drawing removal.
Yeah, it's fine. She's not doing anything in the moment. I'm thinking of running maybe some Mishra's Bobbles to pair with uh, Glissa here. Hey Dito, how's it going? Uh, I gave you a quick recap on the uh, the last deck. It was uh, Abzan Arkbo with some Eldrazi pieces, and right now I'm playing in an open queue with. At the end of each of my streams, I usually do a bunch of open queues so people can see some new deck lists. This is a combo deck pairing Vraska with Walking Ballista and Collar. Basil Scholar to win the game. Right now I have a ensnaring bridge lock thanks to Karn on Martyr Proc, which is the only thing keeping me alive here. I'm just waiting to draw into a win condition here. You were 3 2? Okay. We played Cheerios twice that league, which is kind of rough. Just doing everything I can here to keep my keep me hellbent until I draw Karn, because Karn will just win me the game. It was the same player too, so I'm guessing they ended a league and then started another one. <laughs> yeah, Cheerios would be a buy for Shadow, huh? Okay, uh, their own walking ballista is a little painful here. I really need to draw a Karn, um, which can lock them out. Perfect. Thank you, deck. Finally. How many how many draw steps was that? Okay, this locks their Karn out of the game, uh, their Ballista out of the game. So if they're going to Ballista me, they have to do it now. Yes, we can share the link. Absolutely. ModernStreamersLeague.com today. Absolutely. Blast it as much as you want. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five available mana. Um, what do I want? I can lattice them next turn. I think I'll just grab my own ballista. Yeah, spam as much as you want. Let, let everyone know. I'm super excited about it. So a Basilisk Caller wins me the game here. Let's see. I'll just grab the Caller. Nice. Okay, so walking ballista grows. We do it again. And we kill our opponent. So it'll take a little bit because they can gain a ton of life, but unless they have exactly path to exile, there's not much they can do. And if they have path, we'll just um, grow ballista in response. Perfect. Just like we drew it up, combo deck. Man, Bridge really saved us there. I'm going to bring in, I think, Damnation. Uh, maybe a Collective Brutality. Another Fatal Push. What else am I interested in? What isn't good here? 
I actually don't know if Gliss, I don't think Gliss is that good here, to be honest. I think I'll trim some of her. I think I'm just all in combo here. Yep. Looks good to me. Chalice is brutal too. We could have chaliced there very, very, very well. Yeah. So for anyone looking for the link. Let's keep this hand. It's pretty disruptive. We have an Ancient Starrings to fetch more. The cool thing about Karn is Karn actually stops clues from being cracked, too. Ooh, Hex Parasite, which kills our Planeswalkers. Let's get rid of that and uh, keep playing. Gonna have to use Field of, uh, sorry, Ancient Starrings next turn to grab another land. I'm a little land light at the moment. And this will take the Ranger of Eos out of their hand and hopefully put me in a spot where I can just win the game with Planeswalkers going forward. Thraben beats. I mean, I'm at 11, so it's getting there. My best possible draw, again, will be Karn from this spot. Although I do think Vraska can protect herself pretty nice. Okay. The new ranger seems pretty sweet. I like it a lot. Okay, so Vraska's going to protect herself and me while I try to set up a Karn lock again. Okay, Squadron Hawk was a really good draw for them. They are attacking. Interesting. My Vraska. I think I have to protect her here. Yeah, I'm going to try to kill the Martyr. They're probably going to sack in response. They didn't, which means they don't have one of their lifelink flyers in hand. Just have another. Absolutely. Let's Inquisition them. I'm just going to accept that Vraska is dead. That was kind of a bad Inquisition there. And we are basically going to die to some aggro beats now. Unless we draw a Walking Ballista, which would be a good draw. A Karn. Damnation. Okay. Damnation will pull us back into this game here. We are very much so a control deck. Okay, so we can Karn. I think we have to Karn here. One, two, three, four, five, six. OK. 
Okay. So I have five available mana. I think I need to Karn Bridge here again. Just to buy myself time. Dito, I'm super excited about the league. Uh, I know we have a lot of work left to set up, but I am really, really excited about um, the product that I think we'll be making soon. So I think I have enough mana for the, all everything here. I'm going to be one short, so I'm, my dead here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can kill one thing, so I am dead here. So I shouldn't have bridged. Should have counted first. I think this. I think this list is actually sweet. Like it's a sweet level of like F and M jank. Um, that's also interesting. It really just wants to get Karn down for the for a damp for a um, ensnaring bridge or damping sphere or some type of lock, and then win through that. It's not a fast deck. It's not really a it's it's a combo deck, but it's such a slow combo. And what's the fastest this can win? Turn one Basilisk Caller. Turn two Walking Ballista. Turn three Equip It. Turn four Vraska. I guess it does have a turn four win. Love to play first. I think Walking Bliss is just good against them in general. Interesting. They're using Thalia to try to lock me out here. Yeah. And next turn I can drop a Ballista for two, ping the ping a Thalia if I want, and go from there. Thalia is a really good card. Um, So I have no desire to ping this Thalia because they just have another in their hand, but I will be possibly pinging it on their end step. Yep, take two. We are pretty close to the combo. Okay. So close to the combo here. Now, there's no reason for me to ping Thalia now versus ping Thalia on my turn. I 
I could just keep, I could just play Walking Ballista and try to outvalue them here. Um, what does playing Vraska do now? If I play Vraska now and then I top deck exactly um, a caller, I win. But otherwise, Vraska would just be a five loyalty planeswalker. I still think, I think she's probably better off than. Giant Ballista might do it. I want to see if uh, Vraska can do it also. I'm not actually going to make a token. And I'm not attacking. Okay. Well, they got the answer that they needed. I think she'd definitely go into a version of it. I don't think she'd go into the Abzan version. I think she's definitely going to help produce a blue-white version. Uh, sorry, a green-white version. A blackless version. I think, I think she'll be really good there. Okay, we're just going to try to ride the back of this uh, walking ballista here. Why do I think that? I don't think Abzan Company has enough room for her. I think we're already competing with space in that particular deck, so I don't actually like her that very much there. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just shy here. So let's lead off with an Inquisition. But I do think a green-white variant that has a lot more room because they're not running Kitchen Finks. I think that should be a lot better than that. So now I can safely kill their Thalia because they no longer have a second copy in their hand. We're both in top deck mode. Ooh, Miss Veil vale Plains. I, that's a very good interaction there. So I, th I think Green White Company just has a lot more room. For, like they're not running Viscera Seer, so they actually have a lot more space in that deck. Yep. So they can just go Infinite Squadron Hawk. I need to feel the ruin that Miss Veil Plains. Three, four, five, six, seven. Although Amiria will also be troublesome at some point, too. seven planes. Still got a little bit of time there. I think I need to field of ruin it now anyway. And just take my chops here. Yep. 
Yeah. So if I hadn't, they would have definitely had these seven planes here for Amiria, and that would have been troublesome for me. Yeah, now they have seven. So it put me down to five. I think I'm okay with that. I think I want to save trophy for something that's actually going to kill me. I mean, now I'm kind of forced to use Assassin's Trophy, so maybe I should have. Yeah, double activate real soon. I just can't yet. I've got a three. I'm glad they didn't attack all out. That would have forced my hand with the trophy. Okay. I'm going to trophy on the end step here so then I can double activate walking ballista. Oh, it still might not be enough. Yeah, them grabbing a walking ballista kind of spells death for me here. I need to draw Karn. Karn is like my only out at this particular junction. Yeah, I need them having walking ballista means I need Karn. Um, that's not Karn. So I can double activate, right? They have eight mana, they can make a four four ballista. I think I'm just dead here. I think I'm fallen. I think I've fallen to another walking ballista here. Yeah, I am dead. So I can drain, right, which put me at five, because I think a drain is better than anything else here. If it wasn't for that Ballista, I think I could pull it off here. I, if, or if I top decked a Karn, because I think uh, Karn would shut off... I could Karn into Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah, I mean, I'm just dead here to the walking ballista. Alright. We got that one. Let's try some scout fall. Let's pop that into the queue. Where is it? Nightfall Karoo. Scout fall. Let's hop in there with some scout fall. Another little super tons of click, tons of click. I'm um, playing.